Hi, in this video we'll talk about does intermittent fasting induces autophagy or not. Intermittent fasting is a time-restricted feeding pattern which has plethora of health benefit. It can help you to lose weight, it is good for increasing lifespan, it can be beneficial for people who are suffering from cardiac disease, it helps you to deal with stress efficiently, increases your cognitive, cognitive abilities and also it helps in management of diabetes. If you want to learn more about the clinical benefits, then you can click on the video which is in the i button. In this video, we'll talk about whether intermittent fasting can induce autophagy or not. But before that, we need to understand what is autophagy. Autophagy, it's kind of like a cellular garbage clearing mechanism. It's kind of like a recycle mechanism intrinsic to the cells. And that is really beneficial. Autophagy gains its popularity when it was awarded Nobel Prize in 2016. Yoshinuru Yoshumi was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for discovery of the me mechanisms of autophagy. Now autophagy is proven to be really beneficial from a health point of view and in this video we'll talk about whether intermittent fasting can induce the autophagy. Indeed it does. So let's talk about it in a bit more details. Autophagy is a process in which cell eats its own components and the Greek word auto means self and phagy means eating. So inside the cell uh, there could be some damaged organelles, there could be damaged proteins and other enzymes which is engulfed by the autophagic uh, vesicle and thereby it is degraded in the autophagosome. And it's kind of like a recycle mechanism. So autophagy is evolutionary conserved and it's kind of like a way by which it can help organisms to recycle nutrients and use it when it is needed. So let's take an example of that. Imagine you are starving and starving creates a stressed situation for your body because you don't get enough amount of nutrient for the metabolic purposes of the body. So it's a stressed environment. So how autophagy is useful in this process? Let me tell you how. So under any situation, there are a lot of non-functional proteins inside our cell. So when the body is not getting nutrients from outside, it would look for non-functional degraded proteins inside and it would break it down and salvage it for production of new proteins. And that is how autophagy is really, really beneficial. Studies have shown that autophagy is evoked after 24 hours of fasting and it peaks if you fast for 48 hours. That means even after taking a meal, you have to wait for 24 hours patiently in order to evoke autophagy. Question is whether it is worth it or not. And I'll say it completely it is important because let's say there is a uh, I mean, you need to produce functional enzyme under a stressed environment because every time our body needs to function, it needs all these enzymes, proteins, molecules inside the body for our metabolism to go on. But under the stressed environment, we need like proteins, but we don't have amino acids coming from food because at this point of time, we are starving. So we don't have any food, right? So dietary amino acids cannot be utilized to generate new proteins. So how, how does body manage to get amino acids? The answer is simple. Body breaks down existing protein using the autophagy and in this process it not only breaks down the proteins but also recycle non-functional proteins and proteins which are kind of harmful. And in simple word it, it's kind of like a detox activity. There are many cases like Alzheimer's disease where there are misfolded proteins. Now theoretically autophagy can also recycle these misfolded proteins, break them down and help the body to generate new proteins from this garbage. That is how autophagy could be really beneficial for improving uh, cognitive health and overall health. Now researchers has proven that autophagy has uh, implications in terms of aging and health. But before that, let me tell you that which intermittent fasting paradigm is the best for inducing autophagy because there are so many intermittent fasting paradigm in market like time-restricted feeding, 5 is to 2 diet, eat-stop-eat pattern, 
alternate day fasting and the warrior diet. Among them, the most beneficial one is the alternate day fasting, where you eat normally in a particular day and the next day you fast. You take very low calorie or almost no calories and you repeat this pattern uh, throughout the week. This is called as alternate day fasting. That means in this process, your body goes through a, a cycle of metabolic switching. Sometimes your body is evoking autophagy when you're, while you're fasting and then it has a plenty of nutrients. It's building your overall body and takes care of the metabolism. Now, the most popular intermittent fasting pattern, which is a 18 is to 6 intermittent fasting, doesn't really help that much in terms of uh, inducing autophagy because 18 hours or like 16 is to 8 fasting or even other time restricted feeding patterns are not prolonged enough to uh, induce autophagy. So all these other time restricted feeding, warrior diet, all of that has other benefits such as it would help you to lose weight, gain other uh, insulin resistance and all of these things would be there. But the autophagy would be only induced if you fast for long enough. Now these evidences come from worldwide and there are many tribes such as uh, centenaries in the Okinawa Island, Hunza tribe in Pakistan and there are other tribes in Andes who lived over 100 years and why? One thing was common in their diet that was periodic fasting was incorporated in their daily ritual. So people think that daily, uh, I mean periodic fasting boosts autophagy which helps you to age slowly increases your lifespan and it also evoked the resilience towards many diseases. So I hope this video was useful. There are now tons and tons of evidence that autophagy and caloric restriction can induce or help uh, due while aging. It can slow down aging. It can also increase lifespan. So all these links are provided in the description. You can take a look at it. I, so I hope this is useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.